Welcome to today's lesson. I hope you remember our last lesson. In our last lesson, we have seen cell biology, some model, and organelles with their function. Again, how we can identify one organelle from that of the else. In our now today's lesson, we'll see lesson seven, which is energy transformation. Under this lesson, we will see the process of phosphorylation and the difference between aerobic and anaerobic respiration, glycolysis cycle, and the link reaction. At the end of this lesson, student, you will be able to describe the structure of ATP and how ATP is adapted to its function. Calculate the ATP produced at the end of glycolysis cycle and explain the role of electron donor and that of acceptor in redox reaction. Well, student, do you know what by means energy transformation mean? Well, according to the first law of thermodynamics, energy neither created nor destroyed, but it can transfer from one body to another. In our case, the two main processes that can very important in transformation of energy are respiration and the that of photosynthesis. They can circulate or transduce energy between cell and their environment. Let me see these two processes one by one. Student, do you know what the name is respiration? Well then, it is the very important metabolic process in living cell that is important in breaking down or combusting large organic molecules to release energy. So, where the energy can be stored in form of ATP. It is better to rehearse again. Respiration is a combustive process. It is an oxidative process. Oxidation of certain organic molecules to release energy minorly. When we say respiration, it is very important. If an organ cannot respire, they cannot release energy. If energy is not released, no metabolic activity takes place. If metabolic process stops, life cannot be survived. So respiration is an important combustive process. Student, do you know what by means ATP molecule looks like? And what is the advantage of ATP? Well, ATP is an abbreviation, which stands for adenosine, adenine base, plus sugar, and again, triphosphate, three phosphate molecule. ATP is generally, the term stands for adenosine triphosphate. ATP is a polymer that is made from a smaller monomer called nucleotides. Just like that of another DNA, RNA and that of else, ATP is made from its smaller molecule, where this nucleotide contain one nitrogenous base, adenine, and again pentose sugar, which is said to be ribose pentose sugar, having five carbon sugar, which we call pentose one, and again phosphate group again. These are the three components of nucleotide to form ATP. ATP is considered as energy currency for the cell. A storage of energy. Energy that can be obtained from that of organic molecule is stored in form of ATP. That can be the cell use for the later metabolic process. Hint, ATP can be produced by the process of phosphorylation. Here, when adding the extra phosphate, which we call sardi phosphate, it requires energy, where the energy can be come either from food or light. If it comes from food by the process of respiration, it came from light by the process of photosynthesis. But when the bond that holds sardi phosphate of ATP going to break down, energies become released again. The action of ATP is redox activity is found here. Later I'll show you what this step looks like. 
there is structure here adenine there is a sugar found here ribose part and again there is three phosphate here phosphate one phosphate one phosphate two three phosphate which can be linked together by phosphodiester linkage there is special covalent bond that link together if the cell prefer to gain energy from this one the third phosphate that attached to that of this one become must be break atp found in storage manner here only atp store energy eventually found in atp form on triphosphate part if the cell prefer to carry out cell metabolism the third phosphate must be break down then not atp there is adp adenosine diphosphate having two phosphate and the third phosphate here if they are going to bind the third phosphate energy must be needed here the energy that may be come from light or that of food here here this is to release energy when breaking the third phosphate attaches that of atp to release energy and again when store energy that are obtained from that of organic molecule there is energy requirement here energy that may be come from that of light or this one i hope you know as energy can be jump from that of it is low level to that of high level or that of high level to that of low level when they jump to that of high level there is energy gaining when to that of low level there is energy loss for example here, if the cell prefer to carry out protein synthesis from that of its respective monomer amino acid it need energy from that of atp so the third phosphate must be break down from here ATP energy from that of stored one must be released from here. So glucose must be break down here, release energy, which is found in form of ATP here. Then at the same time consecutively, a protein made from that of this one, glucose become break down to release energy. And again, at the same time again, it become replaced here. When this one become break down, glucose become compensates the process. The cell come to prepare protein from that of its amino acid part which is a redox reaction is takes place in where in respiration so atp is an important molecule in the cell which is adapted for its function because of three main reason the one important reason is it releases energy for biological pathway of the cell that much to that of the biological process of the cell. The energy needed for that of digestion may not be similar to that of the energy for that of breathing. Energy for that of blood circulation may not be uh, released for that of equal with that of energy for observation. Energy for that of uh, pumping of blood to that of the cell may not be similar to that of another cell activity or that of transmission of gene. So it matches really uh, energy that match that of cell metabolic process. The another important thing is only ATP release energy in one step way, which is hydrolyze. Breaking of third phosphate by hydrolyze pathway only. Unless there is no other step can be released energy from that of ATP. The most important reason why ATP is adapted for its function is it can escape or run around the cell. It can move around the cell, but never escape from that of the cell. It can found or move around the cell. And what cell can be encountered? Which cell require energy? How much energy it can be required? This is why ATP is adapted for its role. So, the following main activity may be require energy from ATP metabolism. One are synthesis of micromolecule if we if the cell wanted to be prepare protein from its respective monomer if the cell wanted to be synthesis polysaccharide from its monomer if the cell wanted to be synthesis lipid from its monomer it require atp and again active transport across plasma membrane the what the one that we call phagocytos the one that we call endocytos the one that we call exocytosis and again muscle contraction if the muscle wanted to be contract they need energy from ATP metabolism again. Notice this one, nerve impulse, conduction of nerve impulse. If there is a need of communication as a result of nerve impulse, 
زيد انرجي اجين ذا انيشال ستيب اوف جلايكوليسيس نيد انرجي فروم ذات اوف اي تي بي اي تي بي ات ماست بي نيد انرجي ذير ار تو ستيجز ان جلايكوليسيس ويل سي لاتر ويتش از سيد تو بي انيشال ستيب نوت فاينل ستيج انيشال ستيب اوف جلايكوليسيس نيد سو ذس لايك ستيب كان بي or process can be need energy from that of ATP metabolism. Student, how do you think maybe ATP synthesis in the cell? Well done. Almost all ATP synthesis in the cell may be require the same step. ATP phosphorylation, adding of the third phosphate to that of ADP, it is ADP, need the same step, which is said to be, it involves addition of ADP to that of in third inorganic phosphate, which need energy. All living organism, whether prokaryotic, eukaryotic, whatever they are, they pass to that of scientists ATP that is found in form of this one from that of ADP into that of inorganic phosphate. But here, not all life to be scientists ATP may not be required this one, ATP scientists. The enzyme that catalyzes this joining or this bondage to form ATP. Only this enzyme is takes place in mitochondrial membrane and again in chloroplast membrane. The system of ATP production in mitochondrial inner membrane and the chloroplast inner membrane require ATP synthesis only. Well done. Even though the process is catalyzed by another enzyme, no ATP synthesis involvement in the process. Good student. Student, do you know what biome is the difference between aerobic and anaerobic pathway? Well, this is too clear point. When you say aerobic pathway, a pathway that need energy, uh, oxygen. It involves a pathway just like that of glycolysis. Glycolysis can be takes place in oxygen presence or absence, Krebs cycle, and they again electron transport chain. They need oxygen. The amount of ATP that is produced per this cycle is agreed from oxidation of glucose molecule. Agreed ATP produced as a result of aerobic pathway. Whereas anaerobic pathway means a pathway that takes place in cytoplasm. And the need of energy oxygen can be takes place here. There is no oxygen requirement. If there is oxygen absence or that of depletion takes place, the cell prefer to produce energy by aerobic pathway. This takes place in cytoplasm. And again, partially this one can be takes place in glycolysis again. They produce only two ATP per oxidation of glucose molecule. Only two ATP. So there is another exceptional case when the cell prefer to be uh, respire or that of release energy in anaerobic pathway. We'll see this one again later. Student, how ATP can be produced in aerobic pathway? Do you know what by the difference between substrate level phosphorylation? and the oxidative level phosphorylation. Well done. Under substrate level phosphorylation, a small percentage of ATP is produced, about 10% of total ATP from oxidation of glucose. The process is catalyzed by enzyme, still no ATP synthesis. And again, the process takes place in cytoplasm and some mitochondrial matrix again. When we say substrate level phosphorylation, a substrate that contains attached phosphate can allow to be transferred it is attached phosphate to that of ADP that allow the production of ATP again. Here, for example, in this case, phosphoenol pyruvate 
pyruvate with attached phosphate. When this substrate able to transfer attached phosphate directly to that of ADP, which is a reason for that of phosphorylation. For example, a process of glycolysis, a process of Krebs cycle, they produce energy. The energy that is produced can be evolved substrate level phosphorylation. Well done, student. When we say oxidative level phosphorylation, but it is an oxygen requiring step, oxygen dependent production of ATP or phosphorylation. A huge or great deal of ATP is produced in this by this process. About 90% of ATP produced from aerobic pathway can be produced by oxidative level phosphorylation. This type is, takes place in mitochondrial membrane, crystal, on the surface of crystal. For example, the action of electron transport chain, the action of chemiosmosis process, which is, takes place on the surface of mitochondrial membrane, evolves oxidative level phosphorylation of ATP production. Well then, student. Student, do you know how hydrogen are hydrogen ion transferred from glucose to ATP synthesis? Which I mean glucose combustion or oxidation. There must be a transfer of hydrogen from glucose to that of ATP synthesis. Do you know how they can be transferred? Well, there are two well-known coenzymes which is very important in carrying of proton or in form of hydrogen from glucose to that of mitochondrial inner membrane where ATP scientists found. This one is NAD, nicotine adenine dinucleotide. And the FAD, which is abbreviated as flavin adenine dinucleotide. This two coenzyme is very important in transferring of hydrogen in redox or coupled manner. Means, for example, if they transfer to hydrogen from one area to another, NAD can be carried in form of this one. NADH, in reduction manner. They transfer from one stage to another in reduction manner. Whereas, FAD can be transferred from one step to another in this one. And again, the earlier reaction or the earlier coenzyme become red oxidized, and again, the uh, front one become uh, reduced. So, are accept, they are capable to accept hydrogen ion, and they get reduced in this manner, and again in this manner. We can write red fat or that of red fat. And again, the left one become oxidized, the system is said to be redox or that of coupled. We can't see oxidation that of reduction in isolation from each other. There are the reactions that are found together. By that, we call it is said to be coupled one, simultaneously, because they take simultaneously. When one end becomes oxidized, the LZ become reduced. We call redox reaction. So, how hydrogen can be transferred? By these two process, by these two coenzymes, and again, a reduction is that of oxidation manner. There are four stages in aerobic respiration of glucose. These are glycolysis, Krebs cycle, link reaction, and that of electron transport chain, and again chemosmosis. Let me see them one by one. When we say glycolysis, as its name indicates, glucose splitting, splitting of glucose breakdowning of glucose into smaller one. Here, it is the first stage of cellular respiration, where glucose starts to become split to release energy, energy stored in form of ATP. And again, it takes place in cytoplasm or cytosol of a cell. This first of all, it breaks down glucose, which is carbon-6 molecule, into two carbon-3 molecules anaerobically. Anaerobic breakdown of six carbon glucose molecule 
into two three carbon molecule when we say here glucose which is hexose part containing carbon six break down that of two carbon three molecule which is said to be pyruvate the system of glycolysis pass through that of 10 step catalyzed by different enzyme which is classified into two main step that is ATP utilizing stage or phase which involves breakdowning of glucose 6 uh, sugar unit into that of two glycerdiesterase phosphate the first step this step is an ATP utilizing step ATP become utilized or used here the second step is step 5 to that of step 10 which involves ATP synthesis phase which involves conversion of this gl two glycerdiesterase phosphate into that of two pyruvates there is two net ATP production and again there is two net ATP become utilized here per 10 step stage of mitosis uh, 10 step of uh, glycolysis there is two phases ATP utilizing and again ATP synthesizing phase. Well done, student. Here, we mean that glucose breaks down that of pyruvate because glucose cannot be passed through that of mitochondrial membrane. The only molecule that enter or pass through that of mitochondrial membrane is the product of glucose plus the coenzymes that are going to transfer hydrogen to that of next stage, a reduction manner. Why glucose cannot be passed through that of mitochondrial membrane is one, it is medium sized and not lipid soluble. And again, there is no carrier protein, either channel or that of transporter protein to transport glucose across the membrane. Thirdly, the only molecule that pass through that of mitochondrial membrane from glycolysis, pyruvate, and the coenzyme. These are three main reasons why it cannot be entered into. Finally, the end product of glycolysis cycle per glucose molecular, one, there is four total ATP produced by substrate level phosphorylation, where Two ATP become used for rearrangement in the isomerization system to activate glucose, which can be takes place in first phase where two ATP utilized. And again, two net ATP gain can be found here. From the four total ATP produced by substrate level phosphorylation, two become utilized for activating the glucose, and the two become a net gain, net ATP from here. And again, two pyruvate molecule from oxidation of glucose. Thirdly, two reduced NAD molecule become produced here. Two reduced NAD. Two reduced NAD. Only two reduced NAD is involved in carrying of hydrogen from that of glycolysis in cytoplasm to that of the next step. There is no far involvement here. When this NAD become transferred to that of another step, it is transferred in form of reduction manner by accepting hydrogen in form of this manner. And again, the one that's left in the earlier stage become, become oxidized. There is oxidized, there is reduced. When one end of this coenzyme become oxidized, the LZ become reduced in the transfer proton into that of the next stage. So finally, here, glucose, which is six carbon molecule, and again, two net ATP from the four, and again, two NAD molecule, two pyruvate molecule, two net ATP again, and again, from four ATP, two hydrogen become going to transfer to that of the, this one, because two coenzymes is produced here, and again, two water molecules is the product of glycolysis. Let us show this one. The step of glycolysis looks like this one. This one is 
a first step, a first phase of glycolysis, an ATP utilizing phase. During the conversion of glucose out of glucose 6 phosphate, there is one ATP utilized. During the conversion of fructose 6 phosphate into that of fructose 1 6 biphosphate, there is one ATP utilized here. This is isomerizing or arranging of glucose structure for easy releasing of energy. The first phase. There is an enzyme catalyst. There are 10 main enzymes that are involved in the process. But there is no ATP synthesis from the old. Secondly, during the conversion of glycerdice 3-phosphate into that of 1,3-biphosphate glycerate, there is a production of two NAD molecules, and again there is the production of another two ATP molecules. Generally, the production of two coenzymes to transfer hydrogen ion, the production of two ATP molecules can be takes place as the second phase of glycolysis. Well done, student. Try to see this whole step, and again, the product of glycolysis repeatedly, because it is very important to understand them. The else reaction that can be takes place in the respiration is link reaction. Link reaction is considered as a transition stage. It is considered as a transition step between step takes place in cytoplasm and the step that is takes place in fluid matrix of mitochondria. This step is takes place in fluid matrix of mitochondria. Mitochondria, releasing energy in aerobic means, is bounded by two membranes. The one is outer fluid matrix membrane, the other is inner folded crystal, whereas link reaction is aerobically takes place in this one. It is a linking stage. A product of glycolysis become linked to that of the Krebs cycle, the latter Krebs cycle, by this step. In this step, the product of glycolysis, which is pyruvate, react with that of another coenzyme found in vitamins, some vitamins coenzyme, to form another carbon-2 molecule. Carbon-3 molecule bind with that of coenzyme-2 to form another carbon-2 molecule called acetyl-CoA. Let I show you the two main reactions takes place in the process. One, there is dehydrogenation reaction. Removal of hydrogen in form of NAD. There is decarboxylation reaction. Removal of hydro carbon in form of carbon dioxide. Both decarboxylation and dehydrogenation become takes place here. Here, carbon-3 molecule here, and again, this uh, co as coenzyme A, and again, acetyl coenzyme B can form it. As a result, the number of carbon is going to uh, reduced by decarboxylation. The number of hydrogen is going to reduced in form of coenzyme. Finally, we are going to expect hydrogen in mitochondrial in its membrane. This is what we mean, link reaction. Student, in our today's lesson, hopefully, I will try to show you what the by means respiration and the role of respiration in the cell. And again, I'll try to show you what is phosphorylation to mean. And again, what is ATP? And some component of nucleotides. And I'll try to show you what is the difference between ATP synthesis by substrate level phosphorylation and the oxidative level phosphorylation. Additionally, I will try to show you the difference between aerobic and anaerobic pathway. Finally, I show you what by means glycolysis, two phase of glycolysis, and the end product of glycolysis, and again, link reaction. This is all about today's lesson. Until the next lesson, thank you, students. Goodbye.